Hey Stampers, it's Lisa Marie. Surprise! I know I'm never on at this time, right? So I am popping on, well for a couple of reasons. I wanted to share this really cute bag with you. We're going to use this beautiful um, poinsettia paper in just a second. Let me do all the things and share and you know how it goes. I got to hop on here and make sure that everybody knows I'm here. So if you are watching this and there is not a red rectangle up in the corner that says live, then that just means you're watching the recording and that is totally awesome. Um, just means that if you comment or anything, I won't see it, you know, live, I'll see it later. Um, so like if you're asking me to show you something, I won't know till later. Um, let's see if you are popping on, if you wouldn't mind sharing, that would be awesome. Sprinkle the love and let your friends see what we're going to make. This is totally cute bag I'm going to show you. But I also wanted to remind you, all of the links are going to be at the top of the description of the video when I'm all done. Um, today is the 24-hour one-day sale with Stampin' Up! And everything, except for a very small list of the entire annual catalog, is on sale 10% off. Amazing. Even bundles, so it's really a good deal. So I put up there a host code link, and anyone who orders from me um, and uses that host code link is going to, if you spend, what did I say, $65 or more, then you're also going to get a card kit using brand new stuff from the sneak peek from the new mini catalog coming in the spring. So anyway, so that's that. But I wanted to show you this bag. I'm going to show you one that I made, and I made it with the... Um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's the it's the poinsettia um, flocked vellum. Isn't that just pretty? So it's a cute little bag. Oh, look, I have notes inside of it. And then it has a cute little envelope here so you can pull out your gift enclosure card. Ta-da! And I did it on that shimmery white, this one. And so we're going to do this one a little bit different. Oh, that's better. There we go. But isn't that just cute? You don't even have to own the dies for this. This is cut right from the paper. So I'm going to slide this guy back in here so I don't lose him. Okay, let's move that out of the way. So you're going to need two identical pieces, unless you want your bag to be, you know, one side, one design, and the other, the other. Um, two pieces of paper, and I go ahead, and they're going to be 12 by 12, and I just score them while they're all together because it works out perfect. And this is super easy. It's 3, 3, 3, 1. So we're going to score. Let's see, we want, they're not really directional. Let's see. I think we're going to go like this because I'm going to make this the top of my bag. So the top of my bag is going to be the one inch score. So I'm going to wait because so this is the one of the sides. We're going to do three inches all the way down and then we're going to turn it and we're going to do three inches again. Oops, I went off the line. Get back in there. I'm using the Simply Scoreboard because it's great for scoring especially the big paper. I just like it better. You can totally use your paper trimmer if you have the Stampin' Paper Trimmer, the Stampin' Up, um, because it has a score blade on it also. There we go, like that. And we're coming back around. All right, did I get all three? What did I do? <laughs> one more. No, wait, this is the one inch. Okay, so now I did three, three, and three. So now I'm going to do one, because that's how big of a flap that I want. I think one. Yeah, one. I could make it two if I wanted the bag to be shorter and have, um, you know, a longer little flap on it. I could do that too. So now I have scored these. I'm gonna get this guy out of the way. Toss them over here. I do recommend a bone folder when you're doing this so that you can get nice crisp folds on it because it is, you know, sometimes hard with the pattern paper to see. So I'm just gonna fold. I'm gonna run over it with my score or my bone folder. And I'm gonna come this way. So, so easy, you guys. There we go. And it makes a really decent sized bag. And how many of us are constantly buying gift bags? And they're expensive. And you have all this beautiful paper that you're hoarding. I know you are. This is the um, top of the bag. So this is going to go on the outside. So you might as well use it. Let's get, I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to score this one. I've been home and my son is here and I think he's been sleeping and I thought, well, I'm going to go do a video because it's nice and quiet and now I hear him up. <laughs> That's because I'm doing a video. So I keep waiting for him to knock on the door and say, mom, who are you talking to? And I'm just going to tell him all my Stampin' friends. And then this one is going to get folded out, oops, folded out on the score line, preferably. There we go. All right. I'm going to lay him down so I can see. There we go. 
and just run over this one like that. So now you have your two pieces are all full of, hey Kelly, how are you? All right, and I'm gonna grab some scissors. I meant to grab my big ones, and I don't think I did. I don't see them. All right, that's okay. So, it might be easier to see. So you've got your small fold here. This is the top of your bag. So we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna cut from here and stop here, and from here and stop here. I know it's hard to see. Um, let me see, do I have a pen up here? I might. Let me draw it. That, so it's gonna go from here to here. Can you see that? And we're gonna do that on both of the bags. And I'm even gonna cut this out just a little teeny tiny bit right here and get rid of some of that just to kind of clean it up a little. So I'll show you. We're gonna go, so it's literally four cuts is all you have to do. So you score, cut, and glue. There we go. And then we're gonna do this guy. Of some of that just because it lets it tuck in a little bit better oops and then it's going to come around like this you're following me is it making sense see how it makes a cute little bag i love this bag it makes me happy and actually i'm going to go ahead and glue this one so it can dry while we're doing our thing here so we're going to take this and we're going to put actually you know what i think i'm going to use tear tape this time i think i brought some you can use your liquid glue, but I do really like tear tape or the, um, oh, the Seal Plus. The Stampin' Seal Plus is really good, too. So I'm going to stick this here. And I know it would be quicker with the glue, but you guys, I know you don't mind just hanging out with me for a minute while I do this, right? We're going to do it on both of these. I just think it holds even better. I have not tested it like with a pat with some a gift inside of it with this the seal plus. I'm sure it works great, but I want to I know for a fact I want to use this one. So I wanted to make sure it's on here good. I'm using the end of my take a pick tool to grab this liner. And if your liner's not coming off nice, just burnish it a little bit with your finger, rub over it, and that helps to get it off. And we'll get this one. It helps it to stick to the actual paper and then you can peel away that liner. So I just use my fingernail and that usually will fix it right up. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and you know, we're gonna do one at a time. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do all that while I'm live. <laughs> and then we're just going to set this on here like so. I'm a big chicken when I'm live. I'm always afraid I'm gonna mess up really big. <laughs> I know you guys would be okay with it. Hey Donna. Yes, we did make them. You're right. I had forgotten about them at the very, our very first retreat a few years ago when we met at the church. Yep. And we used that, um, that, remember that castle and dragon set that we had that year? We used that. There's a little piece of, there we go. And we're going to set this guy right in here. So when you need a gift bag, don't run to the store. Just use what you have. You have paper. All right, we're going to do the other one. Same thing, we're gonna cut in on that score line all the way up to the other one. I'm gonna get rid of some of that. Oh, I took way more than the other one. Oops, that's all right. This guy got in my way. These are my junky scissors. That's, they have ribbon on them. They have like glue all over them. And my good ones, I keep, I have them put away. I did not remember to grab them. You still have it as a sample, that's good. Cause that helps you remember about it, you know, to do it and how to do it. Cause it's so stinking easy and I forget about it. Yep. 12 by 12. Correct. And you're going to score three, 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 and one and one. So like if you have a directional paper, like this one, I didn't want my, I knew I wanted my poinsettias to go this way. I just like the way they're falling. So I wanted this to be my top. The top is going to get the one inch the score going this way. So you'll have it like this on the scoreboard. So yeah, so one or three, 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 and one. That's it. So it's even easy to remember. I'm gonna stick some more of this. I love tear tape because I don't have to go stop and grab my scissors. It just tears and it doesn't get my scissors all junky and make them gooey. And we're just gonna rub these a little bit. I'm excited that you've made them before, Donna. That makes me happy. Sometimes, you know, I do these things and then I forget about them because, you know, we get so busy with all the new stuff always coming out and I'm going to stick this guy right there. 
So you gotta go back sometimes. Oops. Let me do that one. I'm gonna grab that one. There we go. All right, so now all you do is one is gonna sit inside of the other. That's it. Look. It's just gonna go like that. Ta da! That's my front, and all my back is here. I think I even like when it sits this way, like that a little bit better. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and stick some glue. This guy's gonna go in here, so that means I'm gonna stick some tear tape here and here and a little bit on the bottom just so that it stays down. Grab my tear tape. You don't need like a whole, whole bunch. You just wanna hold it together. Oh, okay, yes, you need to, you're not watching with sound. Somebody go ahead and tell Heather, type it in there for me that yes, it was 12 by 12 paper if you don't mind. Because everybody can hear me okay, right? I'm gonna leave that guy alone. I watch videos without sound all the time, especially like if I'm, you know, sitting at a doctor's appointment or my husband's watching a show and I just wanna see what's going on, on in Facebook land. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to stick this one on the bottom. I think it'll be a little bit easier. I'm going to stick a couple pieces in here, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing here in just a second. Just adding some tape in here so that it will hold on. See, it's in there like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these guys off. Oops, that's not my take a pick. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Never left. I'm going to pull these out like that and then we're going to pull that one and that one and we're going to set you off to the side for a second and we're going to do this one. I'm just running my fingernail over them and like I said that just burnishes it or pushes it down enough so that it attaches to that paper. Look, I'm holding the take a pick tool in my hand and I'm still trying to use my fingernail. I have the tools and I'm not using them. It's crazy. All right. I think, yeah, we're going to pull these guys off. I was trying to decide how brave I am. I did one earlier and I got them a little bit crooked, but I just decided to embrace it. It's okay. It's not like that tragic. There's way more worse in the world than that was made out of one sheet of paper. I like this idea. Oh, okay. So it was a smaller bag then. All right, we're gonna slide this guy in here. We're gonna pull him back out because I didn't like where he was sitting. Get him in there like that. And I think we decided to go like this too. We're gonna go there. I just like the way it looks. It cleans it up a little bit. I need you to let go. Okay, the downside to the tear tape is that obviously it can snag. It caught it right here and I didn't mean for it to. So let me pull him off. I'm gonna use, oh, I don't have it. That's all right. I'm just gonna use the end of that to slide up under. There's a little spatula. Oh, he might, oh, he is on here. Look at, you can slide him underneath when things stick that you didn't mean for them to stick and it'll help pry them apart without destroying your project. And I know I tore that right there, but look, and I'm gonna fix it in just a second. It'll be fine. I can hide mistakes. I got no problem with that. Now I'm just gonna run my hand inside there and I'm gonna come over here and fix this dude. Is it a little wonky? I'm gonna take a piece of that tear tape and stick it underneath because I don't want it, um, I don't want it standing up. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's use this die. There we go. All right, we're gonna glue him down and this guy gets a little bit bigger piece because I tore him. See what I did? Oh, that's what I said I was rushing. I got nervous. Pull this guy off, but I think it's gonna be fine. So there we go. Super cute bag, right? All right, and we're gonna set that aside for just a second. There we go. He is 
is sitting really wonky right here. All right. Then I thought we need a card for it. So I have eight and a half um, by 11 sheet of cardstock that I cut in half. And then I have a piece of soft suede that is, I believe it's four and a quarter by three and a quarter. It is. And then I have the pretty paper that we just used. Oh, where's he at? I lost a piece that I cut. Um, he was three by four because then I could, knew that I could get more out of my sheet. He was three by four like this, but then I cut off an inch so that I can flip one over. So I thought I could go that. I think I'm going to go this way though. Since it's going to go on the front of my bag. So I'm going to go ahead and go like this. I have got to get a little stand for my phone. I hope that one of my Santa Santas will bring me one. <laughs> I've mentioned it to my children now, so, and they're so inexpensive. I don't know why I've never bought one, just like a little one so that it'll stay standing while I'm here and I can see your comments. Cause for whatever reason, the book works better on my phone for me to watch comments than like my computer or my iPad. They're, they're way more behind and it makes me crazy when it's, you know, not popping up, at least in a decent manner, you know? All right, so we got that guy like that. And this is just a simple, simple card. It's nothing super fancy. I'm gonna use, oh, that'll be pretty. I might use that. Oh, wait, this is pretty too. Nope, wrong green. Ha! I didn't think about rib until just now. Which one do we want? We're going to use this guy. This is a new ribbon coming out. So see, you're getting a little sneak peek. Fine art ribbon, it's called. But look at how pretty that is. And it's really soft and um, a woven ribbon. It has that gold through there. And I'm just going to come around and wrap this guy. So you're getting this part on the fly. I just cut out some pieces and said, ah, we'll make something. Sometimes I do my best work that way. Sometimes kind of a last minute gal. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just make a knot. That way all my people that have bow phobia can know that you can just do it with a knot and you always want to tighten it the way you want it to lay. So I want my tails to lay left and right, not up and down. So that's the way I'm pulling them. I'm going to cut these guys off. Oops. He stuck to my junky scissors. Give him yet another pull to get it tight. And I think we're going to dimensional that dude. Oops. I'm going to go like that. So I have my little vortex fan sitting up here, so it blew my dimensionals right out of my hand, the little backings. We, um, we got new windows, and so I used to have a little window air conditioner in here because we live in Florida, and it's hot and gross most of the year. And, um... My husband's like, oh, look, I put that on crooked. He did not say that, I did. All right, we're gonna embrace it. We're just gonna embrace it. Don't look at the bottom, Donna. <laughs> and I have, I cut out of the paper a cute little flower. It's one of those little poinsettias and we're gonna pop him on there too. Oh, you've gotten better. You've made all those Christmas cards. You need it, my little bow maker that I that I have. I, um, I don't know if you've ever seen it now that I'm thinking about it. It's actually really good. It's perfect for that kind of project that you just did. And we're going to slide him. And I'm okay with him just overlapping like that. And then, oh, that's not them. Where are they? I have all these little treats up here. These are the beaded pearls. Are they not just gorgeous? They are in um, with the poinsettia suite. And they're so, so pretty. So I'm going to stick it on here because it's a little set of three on each one. So I'm going to grab a couple glue dots and I'm actually going to put this right in the center of my poinsettia just to give it a little pop. And then look at what I did. I went and I grabbed a piece of white to do my words on and I used all vanilla. <laughs> Oops. Let me see if I have something over here I can stamp some words on. I might be able to do a circle. Let me see. So I have this box. This is not my organized box. This is just like, some of it is like retired colors and things, but it has all these little bits and pieces already. Oh, look, that's a cute one too. We might be able to make that work. I was looking for a medium one or even a 
an oval might work even better. So I'm going to pull out a couple. I like the stitched um, shapes on for my words and stuff because it just gives it a little bit of extra, you know. All right, I think one of those is going to work. Let's try because we can slide it. Well, that is kind of big. I might be able to do a circle though. Let me see what words I brought in here. We might need itty bitty Christmas for that. Oops. We have. Do we have tiny flies? We have happy holidays, which isn't my favorite. Let me grab one. Hang on one second. Let me grab itty bitty. I know exactly where he is. Because after the retreat, my husband came in here and he alphabetized them all again for me. I keep them alphabetized, but you know, after the retreat, sometimes I'm just like, oh, just shove them up there. And then I'm going to grab my soft suede. And I'm just going to go like this. And I went kind of high on it because I'm going to tuck this little guy right in here and let him peek out, I think. Might even go. I wonder if I'd like him better this way. I think he's gonna work. I think it's cute. There we go. Very merry. And we will. I think we're just gonna stick a glue dot on the back of him. Oh, you bought a little bow maker after seeing yours ages ago. Oh, but you forgot you have it. <laughs> I do that all the time. Just forget that I even have it. It's like, oops. Oh, I kind of like it on the little angle like that. So there's that, my crooked card, but he's still pretty. <laughs> and then one more step. I'm gonna take one of our clear envelopes and normally you would peel this off with the card inside and fold it over. But instead we are gonna go like this and we're gonna take our bone folder with this little guy. And we're gonna go ahead and just give it a nice little score line so it'll lay down a little bit nicer, a little bit. There's that, and we're gonna grab some tear tape. Just need a piece, you don't need a lot. I like to go across the bottom. If you were worried, you could put one in the middle too. Now we're gonna pull this off. One would think I would grab that take a pick tool again, but I didn't. It's all right. I'm just excited I was able to hop on. And look, we're gonna go ahead and use that seal since we already had it. And this is going to go right on the front. You could stick a little gift in here now. You could punch holes and put ribbon. I'm going to leave mine because I think I'm going to probably pinch mine and use one of our, um, the gold clips there. I can't remember which ones are actually in the current catalog, but I have a bunch of these, I think off the clearance rack. So I'm just going to go like this for now. But how pretty is that? You can get it to pinch. And then the card just slides right out, but it's protected and it made your bag look even prettier. And then here's the other one that I did where the card comes out there and it's with that vellum. This one was really fun to do actually. It's kind of waxy, but it was really pretty easy to do. I'm trying to think, I thought I had directions for making another one. I'll have to look. I'm gonna try to pop on every couple days um, as we're coming up on the holidays and stuff and pop on and show you guys some stuff. I went and bought a bunch of treats at the store this morning and I want to make different little boxes and things because I think little, little candies and treats like that are just fun to give. You know, somebody stops by during the holidays or, you know, you see someone you haven't seen in a while, you have a little something to give them. Let's see. I bought, oh yeah, you bought the bow maker. <laughs> so there you go. That's it. It was super, super simple. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me for a few minutes and I hope that you'll be making some of these and if you do I'd love if you post a picture and just tag me in it so I can see them um, and don't forget that all of this stuff um, all of the stuff in the annual catalog except for a handful of things are on sale today so pop over and do a little shopping I have a host code set up and I will see you guys again soon bye bye